all right you guys I'm bringing you guys some black ops 3 footage and I'm gonna try to keep myself from talking about need to speed a lot like crazy or should I start should I start it off with need for speed and then go to black ops I thought yeah I'm all right that's what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with need for speed and then we're gonna go to black ops so need for speed as you all know the beta has or uh, as you all should know the beta ended today on October 5th whenever I upload this video it'll probably be on a different day of, of October it probably won't be October 5th it'll probably be October 6th I don't know when I'm upload this but anyways uh, the beta was fantastic beautiful it was, it was fantastic Trans freak attack if you have not thought about buying this game yet or haven't seen anything on this game Ooh, man, you're missing you're missing out on a lot of stuff. The beta is freaking amazing. Well, it was freaking amazing. I don't have it anymore. And it's no longer on. It got cut off today, and I was pretty much crying the entire time I woke up. I was just like so sad. I wanted to play more Need for Speed. And when the game comes out, you'll see why I said I was crying from the time I woke up all the way to the time I'm making this video. The game oh my goodness the game is fantastic like I said I, I it's, it took every Slow word from out of my mouth I can't even think of anything to say because the game was that good when the game comes out I will be playing the crap out of that I think there will probably be a video every five minutes on my channel need for speed I'm gonna say this need for speed is my most anticipated game of this year I'm gonna say that Shot out. Is, uh, I just I just cannot speak right now. Most anticipated game. Um, beautiful graphics, beautiful cars. Everything is fantastic about the game. It's it's just breathtaking, breathtaking. A lot of a lot of my breath has been taken by Need for Speed 2015. And if some of you guys out there saying, okay, it's not that good. I mean, it's good, but it's not like super good like that. How you're saying it? No, you haven't played it. <laughs> so you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Um, like I said, the game is fantastic. The cars were fantastic. I played with like six cars. I mainly stayed in my BRZ because the, the way I handle with the BRZ, I'm going to say right now, when I do a walk through Need for Speed, I think I'm going to stay in the BRZ the whole time. When I get the BMW unlock, I'm going to switch between the BRZ and the BMW. I think. Because the, uh, the BMW that they showed off, uh, the, the one from Most Wanted, it's in the game. I bought the uh, bought that BMW in the game. I want to see if the Wild Body Kit is on there. The Wild Body Kit is on there. So if you want to recreate your own BMW, you have the option to do that. If you don't want the Most Wanted BMW and you want to do something to the Most Well, I'm pretty sure you can customize the Most Wanted BMW and put Turbo on it. Um change the engine or something but I'm not changing the engine for real I don't I don't think there's gonna be an option in there to change the engine I'm not sure I hear you can change the engine of cars in the game that wasn't in the beta at least I don't think yeah that wasn't in the beta because my Subaru sounded the same when I upgraded pretty much everything on the car neutralized as far as performance parts oh speaking of performance parts the performance parts in that game seems more realistic than what they had in previous Need for Speed games. There's a ton of stuff of performance stuff you could actually put on your car. It's amazing. When you guys try this game out for the first time ever, you guys are going to be taken by everything. The characters, the performance parts, the diesels, the decals, everything is going to just take you and, and it's going to make your day. It, and as far as this free, I heard there was going to be some free DLC stuff. You don't have to pay for the stuff. I'm not sure if that's true. If it is, well, that's going to be a little crazy, but a little awesome at the same time. Because I can pretty much do anything I want. If there's a new DLC like uh, Darius's car from Need for Speed Carbon, they put a DLC for that and... Um, a DLC for uh, another island or something and that's free that's pretty amazing actually I'm actually saying something about the map I'm not gonna say what the map looks like 
but incoming. when I was looking at the map, it looks like they were actually going to add more stuff in it, or some stuff was actually, it looked like some stuff was locked off. Uh, the map is pretty damn large when you're driving around the city. Oh my goodness, the map, uh, I had fun driving around everything, man. I was pretty much drifting through the whole city. My setup for the game, I pretty much said, forget the grip. I mean, I tried it on the grip. The car did not slide whatsoever. That was fantastic. I thought that was cool. I mean, I, I tried to force it to slide. Like always, I try to force drift everything. So when I put it on grip, I tried to slide it and no success. I flew into a wall trying to slide the car. Uh, it, it was funny because I was like, dang, all that grip and I still can't slide it. That's amazing. But I have it on drift, not maxed out on drift, but like in the middle of drift. And in the middle of drift and the basic setting setup. So I pretty much just slid around the entire city. If there is a corner, slide around it. If there's half a corner, slide around it. If there's not a corner, slide around it that's pretty much what i did through the whole game i mean there was some parts of it when i was just like driving regularly not drifting it was it was fantastic it was fantastic Ooh, and the police officers the crown vicks they actually act like police officers they really do it, it was fantastic just just having them just chase me i'm sliding around corners <laughs> And they're just like smashing into the corners. It, it was amazing. It was funny too, because it's like, why don't you just break on the turn? Sometimes they would smash into the corner. Sometimes they would smash into a car. Sometimes they would actually turn on the corner the proper way. They actually act like real cops. Pull over. As soon as you uh, start getting chased by them, it's gonna have. No, I'm not gonna tell you that. I'm not gonna tell you that. Not, I'm not telling. Nope, nope, nope. Not saying that. I don't want to get in trouble. No, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm not even supposed to be speaking on it, but I'm trying to speak around all the stuff that is hard for me to actually do. So, this is actually a challenging video for me. Um, but I've, I've played it. It's, it's fantastic. I've pretty much spent most of my time probably in between getting chased by the police and doing some races. I didn't really, I mean, I paid attention to the beta story. Like after I beaten it, I would just like get chased by the police or something like that. It was amazing. Getting chased by the police, big old thumbs up. If I had like 500 thumbs, all of them would be up, not a single one down. That's how it would be for me. <laughs> it, oh man, but I'm actually stopped talking about Need for Speed now because I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling right now around some of the same stuff that I'm saying over and over again. I think I don't know. But I'm going to talk about Black Ops 3 now. Sadly. Sadly. Don't worry, they're... Well... Ooh! Ooh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to say anything about Deep Speed no more. This is the only video. But as far as... This is October. I already said what I was going to do, I think, in a video. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I, I don't really look at my own videos. And I sometimes don't remember what I say. So, this is October. The month of the scary. I remember saying that in one of my videos. I think I did tell you guys. So what I'm planning on pretty soon, um, I'm going to say this weekend. This weekend I should have some Outlast. Because this year I want to play Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower. So those two games, well I don't know about Outlast Whistle Whistleblower. I heard it was scarier than the original game. I'm not scared to play them. I'm actually kind of tempted to play because... I love scary games, scary movies, I laugh at them, so I do not go to the movie theaters when I'm watching a scary movie, instead I watch a scary movie in the house, um, I buy it and then I watch it in the house, obviously, and I laugh, sometimes I laugh, sometimes I'm just like, ooh, that was, uh, yeah, I don't really get scared off um, scary movies or games. There was one jump scare in the game that actually got me. I watched it on someone's channel, and it was when you knocked on a door or you opened a door, there was some random guy just standing there. When I first saw it, I was like, huh, creepy ass nigga. And then when I saw it for the second time, I was like, oh my goodness, it got me. It got me. 
I was like, what? How did that get me? And I already knew that was going to happen. So I don't know what... Yeah. That's why I want to play Outlast. Outlast. And I want to play it because I've never actually played it before in my life. I've seen other people play it. But me, personally, I have never played Outlast or Outlast in the I've never played a single scary game. Sounds weird, but it's true. I've never played a single scary game, horror game, at all. I've seen other people play them. Me, personally, never played them. Don't know why. I just have not played them at all. So, that's why I want to do uh, Outlast and Outlast the Whistleblower. I might have something else after that. I'm not sure. There's a, a scary game called... I can't even remember the name. It's exclusive to PlayStation, though. Not uh, Until Dawn. I think I want to play that. That, that game is dope. I like it. I've watched um, someone play the whole walkthrough. It was fantastic. I didn't get scared, but... There were some, ooh, I would have chose this decision or something like that. The characters in the game, I think my favorite character in Until EKIA. Dawn was Sam. She was the only one who was actually like relaxed and chilled. She didn't have any problems with anyone else. Like everyone else had other problems with other people. So and yeah, Sam was my favorite. And, and she was the hottest actually. For real, I'm going to be honest, she was the hottest. But... That's that's this is me rambling pretty much. Uh, so I might have something after I've beaten the Outlast series if I actually play the game on my channel. I mean, I'm positive I'm gonna play it on my channel, but I just feel like this is gonna be a game that I don't finish in time because I'm trying to finish this. Well, I, I can do both. I'm just trying to have everything done before Need for Speed and Fallout 4 comes out because those two games are my most anticipated games of the year. I've, I haven't been um, a super uh, hardcore fan from the very beginning. I actually started playing Fallout around Fallout New Vegas. Then I played Fallout 3, the Game of the Year edition. And I'm actually still on that game. I have not beaten it yet. That's because I recently got it like two months ago. And all this beta stuff started coming out. I'm like, okay, I'm going to play the beta stuff and jump off Fallout for a bit. But if I had the, the rate Fallout, the Fallout series, I would give it a solid 9. Still some stuff about it that does not fit right. But who cares? Fallout. And Fallout 4, I hear there's a lot of great stuff in it. There's over 12 companions you can have with you in Fallout New Vegas and 3. There was only like 8. So that's a big number. I want to know how many regular people they're going to have in the game because Fallout 3 no had like Black Ops, I think for debrief. I didn't sign three up regular this. people I'm not sure smart. but this is going to actually round off the video what do you think of Need for Speed Black Ops 3 Beta Fallout 4 and let me know in the comments or what you how do you think these games are going to uh, affect your life so far Need for Speed Beta has affected my life big time so with that being said, I will see all of you in the next video of Black Ops 3 that I do and talk about random games. Peace! Now see all of you soon.